Hi, this is Valerie Getch from Valerie's Photo Channel. Before I get into the tutorial, I wanted to quickly tell you about my free Color Illustrated Guide to Digital Photography Basics. It will help you improve your digital photography skills and understand how to use your camera's manual settings. You can get it for free at my website, valeriegetch.com forward slash digital hyphen photography hyphen basics. Hi, I'm Valerie Getch. In today's Lightroom tutorial, I'll show you how to use the radial filter. This is a new tool since Lightroom 5. It works by creating an ellipse or oval and you apply enhancements to either the inside or the outside of the oval. It was designed to create a vignette effect to highlight parts of an image where you want to focus the eye. This is a very useful tool, so let's see how it works. The radial filter is located in this toolbar here in the Develop module. You can either click on the icon or use the keyboard shortcut Shift-M and you'll get this panel that looks similar to the Basics panel and the Graduated Filter panel. And like the Graduated Filter panel, when you apply edits, they're made to specific areas instead of applying it to everything. And if for some reason you don't see this menu, I'm going to close it for a second, um, you might just see this. And this is actually just showing um, an amount slider that lets you adjust all of the adjustments inside the panel um, at one time. So there's a little arrow that you can barely see. Uh, and if you just click that, that will open the, um, the radio filter panel in case you didn't see it earlier. So before you start, make sure you have everything set to um, the default by double clicking on effect. And you can use the radio filter for things like dodging and burning. You can add effects like exposure, clarity, contrast, saturation, white balance to either inside or outside the, the circle or ellipse that you draw to draw the eye to your subject. So as I mentioned, the idea behind the tool is so that you can put a spotlight, if you will, on your subject. And the most common use is to reduce the exposure on the outside of the circle or ellipse and leaving the original exposure untouched on your subject to highlight it. So unlike using the post crop vignette tool, which darkens all of the outside edges, leaving the center brighter, with the radial tool, you get to decide exactly where you want to put the focus. And it might not necessarily be dead center in your image, though in this case, it kind of is. So to drag an ellipse or to draw an ellipse, just um, with the tool open, click in your image and then just drag, a, um, drag it out to the size you want. I'm going to delete that for a second and show you if you want to create a perfect circle, just hold down the shift key as you drag. And then just grab the middle pin and then you can drag and move the circle to where you want it and then these little handles on um, all of the cor these the four sides you can just drag them to reshape as you want and I'm going to make the focal point this thong here and I think what I want to do is I want to um, put the focus on the thong and I want to darken the rest of this because I think this is just a little bit too bright and a little bit distracting so I'm going to lower the exposure. That looks pretty good. I'll take it to 60. And uh, you'll also notice down here at the bottom that there's this feathering. And the default for feathering is 50. And this softens the effect so it makes it gradual around the edges. So watch what happens when I drag it all the way to the left. See, it looks really harsh and unnatural. So 50 is a good starting point, but I usually like to take it maybe up to 70, maybe even 80, depending on what my subject is. And if you want to um, hide these pins um, and your ellipse, you can see what it looks like. Just hit the H key and then you can see it um, you know, without any distractions. And if you want to see the before and after of this effect, there's a little rectangle here. And if you just click it, it will turn off the radial filter temporarily so you can see the difference. 
And if you want to invert the ellipse so that you affect, I'm going to turn this back on for a sec so you can see the pin. If you want to invert the effect, so if you want to make the center darker, say, and make the outside lighter, leave it lighter, to invert it, just hit the apostrophe key. And there you see the effect is um, the opposite. I like it the other way, though, so I'm going to just undo that by hitting Control Z. So you can see the effect is subtle, but it does make a difference. And um, I'll show you something else you can do. You can use it for, uh, you can make multiple ellipses um, and copy your effect in different places. So I'm going to click Done here with this image, and I'm going to go to another image and show you how to uh, make multiple ellipses uh, with the same effect. So in this image, I want to highlight these um, areas on the flowers. So I'm going to go back to my radial filter, and this time I'm going to I'm going to increase the exposure a little. That's too much. I'm going to try 23 to start, and I'm going to draw my ellipse and put it here. And then I want to invert the effect so that I want it to affect just what's in here and not what's outside of it. So to invert it, I'm going to hit the apostrophe and see so you can see just the inside is brighter. And now I want to duplicate that effect. And to duplicate it, you hit Control and Alt and then drag the pin to a new area. And you can see that I now have a copy. And then if you want to adjust, um, if you wanted to adjust one of them, you can uh, without it affecting the other. And so I'm just going to hit the H to hide the pins. And you can see it's just a very subtle effect. And I'm going to leave the feathering at 50 where it is. And I'm going to just turn off the filter so you can see. It's just a very subtle effect I did here, just to put a little bit of highlight. In this last image, I want to show you how great the radial filter is for putting the emphasis on the subject in a portrait. So I'm going to go back to the radial filter, and I'm going to reduce the exposure. Let's try minus 60 just to see where that gets us. And I'm going to draw my ellipse. I want to emphasize her face. So I'm going to put my ellipse over her face. And I still want it darker. So I'm going to reduce the exposure even more. Keep bringing it down. Let's see. Something like that. So that nicely just sets off her face and uh, leaves the background really diminished to put the focus on her face. So that's another way you can use the radio filter and it's one uh, very popular use. You'll find the radial filter pretty handy, along with a graduated filter and adjustment brush. By making subtle tweaks and directing the eye using the radial filter, you can really give your images a lot of impact. I'm Valerie Getch. I hope you're enjoying Lightroom and my tutorials. Please feel free to leave a comment below and click the like button if you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to subscribe so that you get my new tutorials, which I produce weekly. Thanks. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Lightroom tutorial. Stay tuned for more tips and tutorials as we work our way through the Lightroom workflow, and be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of them. I also want to give you a copy of my free guide to Digital Photography Basics to help you improve your photography skills and understand your how to use your camera's manual settings. You can get it for free at my website, www.valeriegetch.com forward slash digital hyphen photography hyphen basics. Now go out with your camera and have fun and I'll see you back here soon.